Are you ready to hunt for glory? Season four is here, and that means more events with XP, rewards, and fun. This weekend, the Concha Del Mar hosts training days, where both new and veteran players can earn an XP bonus by playing together. In the city, check out Puma Mania. Earn double, triple, or quadruple XP by playing games in Puma gear. The starting lineup for the visiting Utah Jazz. At power forward, Royce O'Neal. At the other forward position, Joe Ingles. At point guard, Mike Conley. At center, Ruby Gobert. At the other guard position, Donovan Mitchell. The head coach of the visiting team is Quinn Snyder. This is Kevin Harlan, and our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. D.A., take it away. Good evening to you, Kevin. Donovan Mitchell is precocious beyond his years. He says, I lead a lot using my voice. It's natural for me. And Coach Quinn Snyder said, the way Donovan carries himself is infectious. There's an innocence to the way he plays. He's not showboating, he's just smiling. He loves to compete. Guys, I love his personality. That was a great story, Dave. Thank you. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Donovan Mitchell. And you can see the surge in his level of confidence lately just by looking at that true shooting percentage. It's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's feeling it. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, O'Neal at the four, while Gobert stands tall at the five. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. And it's Ingles in at the three slot. And for Phoenix, Ayton is the pivot. And Crowder slides in at the four. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the small forward position. Here we go. And two conference rivals scoring off tonight, Steve. This has the feel of a playoff game. Kevin, these teams have had their battles in the past. It's always fun to see them match up. Now, here's Bridges. Paul outside. Fires the three. Ingles with the rebound. Conley against Paul. And here's Mitchell from the arc. 
Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Few players in the league do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Ball finds Booker. Six to shoot. And a little luck that time, but it drops. The quick, clean shot there from Booker. Strong mechanics give him great accuracy. Mitchell looking it over. And he goes big with the dunk right over DeAndre Eaton. I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will be watching this highlight over and over and over. Hooker the pass to Paul. Now the dish to Crowder. Paul against Gobert. Paul can't get it to go. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. O'Neal gets to Conley. Pass to Ingles. Here's Gobert. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. In a league of huge guys, Gobert's size stands out, helps him absorb contact. Booker with it. Now defended by Gobert. Gobert with the block. The pass to come. On the wing, Mitchell. Over Paul. And it's Mitchell missing. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. First team foul. That's his first foul. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Back to Bridges. Trying to break free. What timing from Rudy. He is superb at measuring when to go after blocks. Count that Mitchell. one. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. When you look at Mike Conley's game, just a steady floor general and deadly accurate as a shooter. Hey, Greg, I'm not sure he gets enough credit for how he competes on the defensive side. At 6-1, he's given up size on a nightly basis, but he won't let you pick on him. He gets after you. Here's Paul. Phoenix no good that time either. Jazz leading by seven. Mitchell outside. Gobert trying to get open. Shots good by Mitchell. Mitchell's got nine. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And the wide open shot from Crowder. And the three ball is good. And this has been Crowder's role for a while now. Often shoots more three pointers than two pointers. Oh, the lob to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Great execution, big target, perfect delivery. That's a tall task to defend Rudy Gobert. Crowder with it. He's picked up by O'Neal. And the shot's good from Crowder. Crowder's got his second basket. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Outside Conley. All three off the mark. Suns trail by six. Paul passes to Bridges. Pass to Crowder. Paul outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Hayton. Good. A nice assist from Booker. And this is where Hayton does the most damage. Inside, feels like he can score on anyone. Mitchell against Booker. Good. 11 points in the game. 
The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Paul kicks to Booker. Back to Paul. Passes it to Booker. Good ball movement here by the Suns. For Gobert. No good off the front iron. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Six-point game. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. And, guys, there's really a fine line between being aggressive and being out of control. And in that one, they cross the line. It's a catch-22. You want your guys attacking, playing with a sense of freedom, but not if it means a bunch of turnovers. Here's Bridges. Rudy Gobert picking up that last basket. A shot by Paul, no good. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Here's Mitchell, and the rejection by Eaton. Tremendous at anticipating when shots are going up. Eaton is outstanding at protecting the rim. Here's Booker, and that one is off. The Jazz go the other way with it. Last time they met was in Utah. And they cruise to a big win in their last game, getting that closing start in the the First game early play. with foul trouble. Jazz you can bet that was their game plan from the get-go. Don't be shocked if they're aggressive again today as well. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. JaVale McGee comes in for Aiton. And it's Payne in for Paul. And Utah also making a switch. Whiteside's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Now here's Conley. Eight points his last outing. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Rebounded by McGee. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Bridges inside. And Whiteside sends it back. Whiteside light off his feet. Plus he can block your shot with either hand. Some changes for Phoenix. Kaminsky is checked in for Crowder. Johnson comes in for Mikael Bridges. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Booker. Utah also making some changes. Rudy Gay's checked in for Royce O'Neal. Bogdanovich comes in for Joe Ingles. And it's Clarkson in for Mitchell. Time out, time out. The basket counts. This is as good as it Sun, gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And the Suns call time. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And a lot of that was game plan. Putting guys in a position to succeed, particularly on the offensive end. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game plan a great strategy to take advantage of it. Suns trail by 10. Payne looking around over Conley, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. And, and already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Mike and he makes that one. Assisted by and they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Now here is McGee. He's still scoreless so far in this one. They could use a bucket, and he dunks it down. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Now here's Payne, covered by Conley. Got a piece of it. Fast break. Here come the Jazz. Conley's running. And that one's good Rudy by Gay. Uh, assists like ball. that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now here's Payne. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And there's another Jazz turnover ball. by the Sun. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Utah leading by 16. Clarkson with the ball. 17 points for him last game against Dallas. Gay trying to break free. Off with the layup. 
Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Payne passes to McGee. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. first personal foul. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Utah Jets? Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They're penetrating, finding the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. And Greg, some players looking rejuvenated since the All-Star break. Does that short period of rest really make that much of a difference? It, it does, and oftentimes more mentally than physically. It's an opportunity to kind of hit that reset button and prepare yourself for that stretch run. Pass to Payne. Back to McGee. And Whiteside sends it back. And up top, he's covered by Shannon and taken away by Johnson. And that one's good, Shannon. And there's that transition offense. Push the ball up the floor. The defense can't get set, and you can get some easy baskets here. Now, here's Clarkson. He has five. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. And Steve, a second rounder back in the 2014 draft out of Missouri. Jordan Clarkson with a productive Jordan NBA Clarkson. career. Yes, Kevin, and he's always been a bucket. What has changed is the shot selection. A lot more threes and terrific free throw shooting, making him a great bench weapon. And he knocks down the first one. And, and you know, Clarkson entering the league as a second round pick, a, a little unsung for most of his career, but always seems to find a way to contribute. And both free throws good for Clarkson. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Trailing by 13. Kicks it to Johnson. Up to Payne. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Back to Conley. Payne with the block. And he gets it back. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. The pass to McGee. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. McGee's got five. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Bounce pass Conley. Here's Pascal. Here's Whiteside. And he battles for the I ball and gets the side. second chance bucket. And the Jazz lead by 11. I just love that effort by Hassan Whiteside. Focus, and he's a huge threat to score off the miss. Shamit with it. He's picked up by Whiteside. Being shot on the way. And it's Shamit missing. And well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Whiteside. Low percentage Assist chance. From. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. 58 seconds left to play here in the first. Now Payne. Inside. Kicks it out to Johnson. Just five to shoot. Shamit. Three pointers off the mark. Jazz leading by 13. Pass goal finds Conley. Excellent D that time there from McGee. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Here's Johnson. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Kaminsky against Clarkson. Oh, Whiteside in position. Behind a stuff the alley-oop. 
Amazing white side sort of floats through the air, and that pass was on the money. They get it back. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Utah. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And to begin his career, Devin Booker labored through half a decade of losing in Phoenix. And he opened up about what it means now to be on the other side. That's what I've been waiting on. Playing career basketball, night in and night out. Keep my head down, um, staying locked in and seeing tunnel vision, trying to play the right way through it all. Um, you know, I want to keep winning basketball games. And, you know, we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. They really do. Great to see his patience rewarded. And so often, young players on losing teams can go astray. Credit Booker for staying solid through the adversity. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a very convincing performance from the Jazz so far. I love their effort. Contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. I'm Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. The forwards for them, Bridges and Johnson. Payne out there with Landry Schempt. And it's Kaminsky in at the center position. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the need to really get after it defensively and show that. Watch film on every person I'm guarding. Defense travels. Offense comes and goes. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied, and I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And competition is at the root of all sports, certainly sometimes. You know, things get chippy. And as a player, Rick, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going? Kevin, you're always taught to control your emotions, but easier said than done. And in reality, sometimes you have to man up. You have to let it be known that you're not going to accept things. And at the same time, you got to be smart. So the goal is to beat the other team, not literally. Phoenix making some changes. Andre Ayton's checked in for Frank Kaminsky. Jay Crowder comes in for Johnson. And Chris Paul's subbed in for Landry Shamit. Utah also making some changes. Gobert comes in for Hassan Whiteside. And it's Joe Ingles in for Clarkson. Good on the second free throw. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Now, here's Ingles. T right on him. Knocked away. Crowder, the pass to Payne. He kicks to Bridges. Ayton against Bogdanovich. Paul, and the layup's good off the glass. Totally unselfish play there from Ayton. Sends the ball to someone with a wide open look. Mitchell with the bounce pass. Nobody near Pascal. The putback, great positioning on the putback. And the Jazz lead by 14. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Ball looking over the floor. Pass to Bridges. Five on the clock. Fires for three. They get it back. Here's Ayton. Lays it up and banks it in. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss. One of Ayton's specialties. 
Ingles dishes to Mitchell. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. Phoenix grabs the miss. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. And that's the third of four straight played at home. Bridges passes to Payne. Al Paul covered by Mitchell. And the Jazz pushing it up now. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Suns trail by 12. Here's Payne. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Ingles. Down low. Here's Pascal. Payne grabs the board. For Phoenix, they've gone 2 of 5 in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Nine feet out. Aiton controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And this is why you got to put a body on Aiton. When you don't, he torches you with the putback. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Aiton is a player who Greg occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. Yeah, you know, not the best numbers from outside. Does it to keep teams honest, but it's a far fetch to say he can stretch a defense. Booker, he's checked in for Phoenix. Utah also making some changes. Rudy Gay's checked in for Eric Pascal. And Royce O'Neal sub in for Bogdanovich. And that's just a good-looking shot. Gay's always had a good-looking jumper. And Booker kicks to Bridges. Aiton up top, guarded by O'Neal. The shot's good from Paul. They are just killing him on the interior. Pass to Ingles. Back to Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. Coach doing a great job of putting Mitchell in pick-and-roll situations. For a young player, he makes good decisions. Pass to Paul. To the middle. Here's Aiton. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Aiton's got eight. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's the pass to Gay. Crowder against Engle. Phoenix grabs the miss. Outside Crowder. Bridges passes to Aiton. There's the three. He goes up again. He takes it up and lays it in. Ten points for him. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Game with it. Now guarded by Aiton. Gay inside. Aiton's there. O'Neal kicks to Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. And Chris Paul, Paul picks up the foul. That's his first that is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. Nice ball movement by Utah. Five to shoot. Yep. That one goes. Boy, I'll tell you, from mid-range, Rudy's shot mechanics look effortless. Booker against Ingles. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That's his first foul. We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Greg. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And Well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path. And I, and I don't think... The same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? You're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, are in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft. And that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Ball against Connor. For three, Booker. They grab their own miss. McGee's shot is off. 
And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. McGee against O'Neal. McGee with the block. Ball left side. Gay with the block. A pretty good defender. Gay using that 7-3 wingspan. Well, get that shot out of here. Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Super work on the boards. They really want to put their foot down on the mound. Yeah, and once you got him on the ropes, Greg, just keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't right, secure the rebound. The They're still looking for answers. And the Suns call time. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Phoenix making some changes. Mike Kaminsky, he's checked in for Crocker. Johnson comes in for Mikael Bridges. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Chris Paul. And Utah with a change here, too. Larson's checked in. Here's Gobert. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. And, Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second-chance opportunities. Yes, and it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That's, his That's foul number two foul. for him. All this foul. means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Feeds it to Johnson. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Gay against Johnson. Here's Gobert. Rebounded by Kaminsky. Suns trail by 13. To the paint. McGee, the pass to Shamit. Back to McGee. Over Conley. That one a little long. Utah's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Back to Gay. And stolen by Booker. Here's Kaminsky. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against New Orleans. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got three assists now in this one. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. That has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Clarkson passes to Gobert. Conley against Booker. Pass to Clarkson. Lock at six. Steps back and fires. And the jumper falls for him. Clarkson's got nine. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Gay against Kaminsky. Gay dishes to Conley. And here's Booker. He picked up 24 points in their last one against Two New Orleans. Remaining in the and now. not just Two the minutes. scoring. It was also how fierce he was on defense. Grabbing three steals on the night as well. And I gotta say, sort of surprising. He the goes for a slam down. that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Utah calls timeout. And the Suns making a change here. Haynes checked in. Then for the Jazz. Whiteside's checked in for Gobert. Eric Pascal comes in for Rudy Gay. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for O'Neal. And stolen by Booker. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. This is it to Pascal. From 13, and that one falls Eric coming Pascal. off Conley's feet. Conley's got six assists now in the game. Payne passes to Johnson. Booker outside. Pass to McGee. That shot, no good. The Jazz go the other way with it. 
And stolen by Booker. There's 53 seconds left here in the second. Looking for McGee. He gets it there. And what an alley you Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Now here is Conley. Payne covering. Stolen by McGee. Kaminsky finds Booker. No good from outside. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Clarkson taking his time here, and there's the pass to Pascal. Just three to shoot. Shoots over Payne. Aaron the shot's Pascal. good from Pascal. Pascal's got four points in the quarter. That turnaround shot is clearly one of his favorites. He loves going to it anytime he gets an opportunity. And so it's the Utah Jazz looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for him. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some incredible work in this one by Rudy Gobert. He had 14 points, two block shots, and 10 rebounds. Shaq, how'd you think the Jazz were playing? They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. Uh, their effort has been excellent. The numbers are too, and I don't see those numbers dropping off. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? Ice cold, frigid from beyond the arc. The question is now, can they shake it off? and get back in the groove. Another option is compensate by going to the rim. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's gonna be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Rudy Gobert has been sensational. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Taking a look at the Jazz. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. O'Neal at the four, while Gobert stands tall at the five. And it's Ingles in at the three. For three, Mitchell. Oh, he got hacked on the three pointer. He'll head to the line. That's his first well, he wasn't a Burger first King All American or a one and done college Utah. star, but Donovan, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's rapid Taking emergence three shots. in the NBA has caught many by surprise. You know, G.A., the first rookie ever to Three lead shots. a playoff team in scoring. Three shots. He was handed the keys right away, but he's not satisfied. He still wants more. Free throw drops for Mitchell. And they call him Spider because of that long wingspan. 6'10 at present. But standing 6-1, Mitchell needs that to compete defensively at that shooting guard position. And he's good on the second. And we know what Mitchell can do offensive. But, Greg, how do you evaluate his defensive game? 
And, and Kevin, without question, there's room for improvement. I'd say he's probably below average, but he has the tools that if he tightens up that part of his game, look out. And he nails the third. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Booker outside. To the inside. And there's Bridges on the assist by Booker. Booker's got his fifth assist in this one. An awesome distributor. Booker's floor awareness and understanding of when to dish it is a real weapon. The drive by Mitchell, and the shot goes in. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 18 points. He's been locked in all night, and he's taking good shots. Booker outside. From 10 feet out. And with that shot, the Jazz leaders cut back down to 14 after they get the hoop from Aiton. And the all-around offensive game Aiton has it is just fantastic. Capable of scoring in many different ways. Mitchell against Aiton. Let's it go from 11. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And so Aiton will bring it up for Phoenix. Here's Crowder. Gobert with the block. Past O'Neal, back to Conley. Aiton against Gobert. Kicks it to Mitchell. And stolen by Booker. And up the court come the Suns on the break. And Aiton throws it down. And dunking the ball is just second nature to Aiden. With the right positioning, he's a threat to throw it down. Mitchell dishes to Conley. Mitchell outside. Just five on the clock. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And here's Booker from the arc. Buries the long-range jumper. He has seven. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. Mitchell against Booker. The try by Mitchell. And it goes down two points. Mitchell. And the Jazz lead by 13. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Sorry. Phoenix calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. A three-pointer off the mark. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Two points. That one goes. Conley's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, he's wiry strong. Conley's made a living taking contact and making shots. Here's Booker. Gobert with the block. And now the fast break. Mitchell with the ball. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth Man of the Year winner Jordan Clarkson says, three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? They are fun to watch, and a handful. D.A. thanks. Ingles in the corner. Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got his fourth rebound in this one. Suns trail by 15. Bridges outside. That one falls. That's good planning and that's good execution. And that's a great look. Conley up top, defended by Paul. At the top of the key, Ingles. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. 
Mitchell against Booker. No good there. Good D by Mitchell. Jazz leading by 15. Ingles with the ball. Now guarded by Aiton. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Bobbed up there for Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. The assist. You've got to trust your receiver to go get that pass. Did you see Donovan Mitchell catch and finish in the same motion? The 10 footer. And Chris Paul, the bucket on the assist by Booker. Six points for Chris Paul. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Mitchell passes to Conley. The Jazz working the ball around now. Six on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. Rebound by the Suns. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comeback. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. The whole great defense there anticipated the play and got there first. And the Suns here with a different look. JaVale McGee's checked in for Aiton. Frank Kaminsky comes in for Jay Crowder. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Devin Booker. Utah also making some changes. Rudy Gay's checked in for O'Neal. Bogdanovich comes in for Joe Ingles. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Mike Conley. Mitchell outside. Into the lane. The rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Phoenix. 17-point game. Paul passes to Johnson. Inside. Here's Paul. Up and in with the jumper near the hoop. Paul's got eight. Have to admire Paul's concentration. He takes pride in finishing on aggressive coverage. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Stolen by McGee. And now the Suns, a fast break. Kaminsky leading the charge. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just he took him a while to heat up. Clarkson. And a closer look here at the hustle stands for Utah. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. Yeah, but they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Whiteside's checked in for Gobert. Amongst the best point guards in the history of our great game, Chris Paul has changed the culture of a few franchises. CP3 is a flat-out winner. Clarkson outside. And here's Mitchell from the arc. No good that time. The Suns go the other way with it. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Johnson dishes to McGee. Over Bogdanovich. Rebounded by the Jazz. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Whiteside. McGee with the block. Johnson outside. And he could not get that one to go. Hassan Out of contact, Whiteside. and he'll go to the line That's for two. They get Hassan Whiteside. Plus Sun shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The yeah, looking over their percentage on and the season, Jackson. I think they will be thrilled two with shots. the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. First free throw is good. Eric Pasco, he's checked in for the Jazz. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Jazz leading by 10. 
Mitchell passes to Whiteside. Clarkson for three. The rebound by Johnson. Phoenix has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Paul goes in over Bogdanovich, and again it's the Suns missing. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Here's Clarkson, and he converts the layup. Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson's got 11 points. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Well, that alley-oop attempt, a case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. You no, know, this is something That's you practice first, first over foul. and over again. I'm surprised foul. they couldn't execute. Royce the O'Neal checked in for Eric Paschal. Now here's Payne. Rebounded by the Jazz. Stolen by McGee. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Johnson. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. One shot. That's good from Johnson. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Now, here's Mitchell. Payne covering. Here's Whiteside. Clarkson outside. A three ball. Six to shoot. It's rebounded by Paul. Suns trail by nine. Johnson outside. Paul outside. He feeds it to McGee. And here's Johnson outside. It doesn't go for him. So Utah will take it the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Two minutes remaining. Clarkson in goes in. Whiteside kicks to Mitchell. Clarkson against Paul. Clarkson passes to Whiteside. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Payne passes to Paul. Shoots over Clarkson. And shot by Paul. No good. And here's Whiteside. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. They lead by 11. Bogdanovich up top. Guarded by McGee. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the 6'8 Boyan Bogdanovich consistently among the league's top three-point marksmen. You're right, Kevin. Consistent is the right word. Listen to this. Since his fourth season in the NBA, he's never averaged below 38% from distance. That shot must be honored. Two shots. He throw good, Bogdanovich. Well, he started out as a pure shooter. Bogdanovich has worked hard to become a threat off the bounce and a strong finisher. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. 114 left in the third quarter. against Clarkson. Paul dishes to Johnson. It's good. Johnson's got seven points here in this quarter. And this is CP3's game. He's all about trying to get his teammates involved. Mitchell passes to Clarkson. 
buries it down low. And that's what you want to see. Good fundamental sound basketball with the bounce pass. Johnson outside. Kaminsky kicks to Paul. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Clarkson outside. Wide side, this is to O'Neal. The jump hook. And the jam by Whiteside. Whiteside. I'll tell you, Whiteside doesn't have to get too far off the ground to throw it down. Ball with the ball. 11 points in the game. Now Payne. Back to Johnson. Ball with the three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Able to defend on ball. Give help. Whiteside pretty good at redirecting plays. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Jazz lead by 13. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. A star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Frank Kaminsky is out there with Mikel Bridges. And it's McGee in at the five, roaming the paint. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Utah leading by 13. O'Neal kicks to Mitchell. Passes it to Clarkson. Fires the three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. McGee's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And there's the whistle. That goes on Frank Kaminsky. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Andre Ayton's checked in for Phoenix. Crowder comes in for Kaminsky. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for the Jazz. Mike Conley comes in for Mitchell. Conley finds Boganovich. Going inside. Second chance shot. And it's laid in by Whiteside. And the Jazz lead by 15. All of 7 feet, 265. Whiteside easily powers through contact. That's a great play. On the wing, Bridges. No good off the back of the rim. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Right side, inside. Defended by Booker. Good on the shot. Give this young man a lot of credit. Instead of watching on the offensive end, he's making a difference when his number's called. Back to Booker, top of the key. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And it's nine points for Devin Booker. All against Conley. O'Neal trying to break free. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second personal foul. That one on eight. And look at Conley go right up inside. Masterful job getting the foul on that shot. line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. Uh, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Go Bear, he's checked in for the Jams. And 
And the second free throw, good. The fourth pick in the 2011 draft, it took getting stronger and improving the shot to make Conley one of the better all-around guards in the game. Ball with the ball. Conley picks him up. Here's Crowder. Aiton trying to break free. And the shot's good from Crowder. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Ingles against Booker. Outside Conley. Knocked loose. To the paint. Shot clock at five. And slam dunk by Gobert. We're watching the offensive development by Rudy Gobert. He is exploding tonight. Aiton, the pass to Crowder. Drives to the hoop. And Crowder slams it in. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, at the basket, guys. Still shaking. Here's Ingles. Has to go there. Bridges with the board. Suns trail by 14. Now the feed to Paul. And it's good. Two points. And that's 13 points for Chris Paul. So crafty down low. Chris has every shot in the book. Conley scanning the floor. And the rejection by Eaton. Booker outside. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. The Jazz yes, making a switch here. He's checked in. Here is Conley. Dishes it to Ingles. Gay outside. From outside, off the mark. For Phoenix, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Count that one. Paul's got 11 in the second half. The question is, why is Chris Paul so hot tonight? He recognized the hot hand, and it's him. Conley finds Gay. Some solid defense from Aiton. And so Aiton will bring it up for the Suns. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up. And now we have a game. And the Jazz call time here. And with Chris Ball, he makes this team work. Gets the most out of his teammates and has done that wherever he's played. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, during the break, I listened in on Quinn Snyder's huddle. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. As you said, Paul's teams often overachieve in the standings. People still underestimate his impact. He sets up and improves his guys as well as anyone and he's the engine to this whole operation. Jazz leading by eight. Poked away. And now the Suns, a fast break. He dishes it to Aiton. Here's Booker. No good. Good work defensively by Ingles. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And there's the call on That's Devin Booker. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Mitchell, he's checked in for Utah. And Gobert kicks to Ingles. Aiton against Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Bridges. The Jazz with another miss. Suns on offense. They're on a 14-5 run here. Paul finds eight. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Outside Conley. Another miss by Utah. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. On the wing, Ingles. Hey, 
goes up and lays it nice and easy. There's the work Ingles has put into his strength and conditioning. Takes the hit and still able to convert. And here's Booker. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got 15 rebounds here tonight. And the best again. That one drops Rudy one. Gay. And now a 10-point Jazz lead. Over the years, Rudy Gay has added a lot of bulk to his frame. You see it right there off contact. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Utah's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Mitchell. And he goes big with the dunk right over Mikhail Bridges. Any given night, Donovan Mitchell can put this team on his back at the offensive end. What a performance. And the dunk by Booker. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no stopping. There's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Mitchell gets to Conley. Pass to Ingles. Jazz passing it around. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Ingles has a lot of skill, but he shows you so much grit out there, able to take the punishment. And Kevin, how about his basketball journey? Taking him from Australia to Spain, then Israel, before finally landing in the NBA at age 27. But Joe Ingles, boy, was well worth the wait. JaVale McGee's checked in free. Free throw drops for Ingles. And he grew up playing Australian rules football. And Ingles not afraid to mix it up. And early in his career, guys would look to attack him one-on-one. -on -one, but they learned the hard way. He's long, active, and uses anticipation about as well as anybody. It'll be a jump ball. Poke loose. And Phoenix has possession. All finds Poke. Bridges outside. Five on the clock. Ball against Connor. Paul can't get it to go. And so Gobert will bring it up for Utah. 17 points was their biggest margin. On the wing, Mitchell. Floats one. McGee with the block. Crowder the pass to Paul. He lobs it up. And the slam dunk by McGee. That's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Conley kicks to O'Neal. Now here is Conley. Over Paul. Conley's shot is off. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. For three, Bridges. They get it again. McGee. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. And the second chance points haven't come as easily to them as they did in that first half. Those are valuable points they're missing out on. All against come. Passes to Mitchell. For the three. Rebound by JaVale McGee. McGee's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And here's Booker from the off. And they'll get another chance. Maul finds McGee. He gets it in there. And now just a five-point Jazz lead. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. Here's O'Neal. Count it. Time out the call the Suns. They're behind Phoenix. by seven. 136 left in the fourth quarter. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Michael Conley. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, 
going to the rim with purpose and getting those points the hard way. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. Here's Booker. Utah with the rebound. Mitchell's got four rebounds in this game. Conley against Paul. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Phoenix grabs the miss. And, and you know, it's almost as if he wore himself out with that performance in the last quarter. He hasn't had nearly the same kind of energy in this one. Utah calls timeout. They're in front by four. 59 seconds left in the fourth. Come on and get live for your Don's Panther. Booker against Mitchell. From deep. Sinks the three-pointer. At the heart, Donovan Mitchell can be devastating. He's a confident shooter who will take any look he gets. Here's Booker. McGee trying to break free. Hits the front of the rim and out. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. And here's Gobert. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Just five on the clock. And then Mitchell with the dunk. Mitchell. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Conley against Paul. Conley with it. So it's Utah with the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Rudy. Donovan Mitchell huge, of course, tonight. How great is it to have him on your side? Uh, it's great. You know, it's great. He's, uh, you know, he's a great teammate, he's a great player, and, uh, you know, we're going to need him if we want to win a championship. So, you know, it's, it's a big part of what we do. And he was big tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long.